how do historians deal with the problem of evil? Well, one way we deal with it is talking about it all the time because uh, so much of what we deal with is uh, uh, sin, uh, destruction, uh, failed human attempts, um, flawed human attempts to even better this world. And uh, uh, it's an issue that, uh, I mean, uh, of course it, it, it bothers me because I'm a human being and I'm bothered by evil in the world. I'm bo bo bothered by the history of the human race, which although, of course, it's, it's filled with some wonderful examples of self-sacrifice and stri human strivings and so forth, uh, every, we're all flawed. <laughs> It's a very uh, world filled with imperfect people. Uh, and uh, I, especially dealing with the 16th century, I mean, when under the cover of religion and in God's name, these terrible battles were fought, these terrible wars, these uh, 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 execution of people for religious reasons. This was done by Catholics, this was done by Protestants, and so forth. I mean, it's it's hard to deal with. Um, and sometimes I walk out of the classroom and say, what have I done? I mean, all I've told these people is about, uh, especially in the 16th century, how religion has been a cause of so much evil in the world, really. Uh, under the cover of religion, all this has happened. It, it's a big problem. And uh, uh, it, all I can say is, I guess, that and it's a problem of, of religion itself. Uh, this problem of evil. Uh, how can there be a God? Um, so faith and doubt in this, on, on this issue, but in the balance, What's easier? What, what makes more sense? To believe there's no God? Or looking around at how gorgeous the world is and looking at, yes, flawed human beings and we don't do what we would like to do. Uh, we're, um, uh, very imperfect, but um, the goodness of the human heart and the, and the goodness of people in, in, in their ideals and strivings and the, the issues they have, they're, they're of somehow or other, their self-transcendence, their, uh, wherever it comes from, their ability to overcome their selfishness or our ability at least in certain instances to overcome our self-centeredness and our selfishness and to really be a giving to others and, and, and to be people of, of love and of sacrifice and giving oneself to a higher cause. I mean, you don't believe in God? How do you deal with that? Um, uh, so there's a problem of evil, yeah. There's also the problem of good. And that has to be dealt with, too. So, um, if there were no sin, there'd be no historians. <laughs> but, uh, so, we do have to deal with this problem of evil, and uh, I deal with it in a, as an imperfect human being. I deal with it in an imperfect way, but it's certainly an issue that I have to deal with.